welcome to all <coughs> dear students in this practical i will going to explain the diagnostic features of different gametophytes of uh, bryophytes as per syllabus we have four specimens that is rixia then porella third one is anthozeros and uh, fourth one is polytrichum so all these specimens comes under division bryophyta as you know that bryophytes they are the non vascular uh, cryptogams and they are also known as amphibians of uh, plant kingdom in this group bryophytes the plant body is gametophyte so in this class we are going to study about the diagnostic features of this gametophyte how we will going to identify the gametophytes of uh, these specimens i will going to explain in this class first specimen this is a rixia rixia it comes under class apatiopsida order marchantials family rixiaceae and uh, the genus is rixia see the members of apatiopsida they are commonly called liver worms because the plant body that means gametophyte it looks like liver in nature it is fleshy in nature and liver like appearance that's why they are commonly known as liver worms and this plant this gametophyte rixia we are going to identify based on the morphological characters that is the plant body is flat in nature and the plant body is thallus the thallus is prostrate and dorsi ventrally flattened prostrate means <laughs> it completely grows along the surface you can see here the plant body is completely attached to the surface that is the prostrate and the gametophyte is dorsi ventrally flattened so yeah and the both surfaces are flattened in nature you can see dorsal surface is flattened and also ventral surface is flattened then the plant body is called thallus as you know that thallus is a simple plant body which cannot be differentiated into root and stem the first diagnostic character here is the plant body is prostrate dorsi ventrally flattened and ribbon like it looks like ribbon you can see along it in nature ribbon like then this thallus undergoes division and it forms a rosette like appearance that means it forms a circle by repeated division of repeated division that is rosette like appearance you can look here the plant body is uh, form a rosette like appearance then the thallus is linear in nature that is ribbon shaped and wedge shaped with an apical notch so apical notch that is the growing point you can look here this is the apical notch it is the growing point of the thallus so apical notch is present at the tip of thallus lobes it is a branch of the thallus so it present at the tip of thallus lobes from the apical notch towards the center and the middle of the thallus consist of a clear mid rib you can see here this is the apical notch from this point you can see there is a on the center of the thallus you can see there is a mid rib is present this is the characteristic feature or identification character of which uh, you can see here mid rib is present on the thallus then the dorsal surface is greenish in color and it consists of the midrib and apical notch then the ventral surface that is pale green in color so it is completely attached to the soil and that ventral surface consists scales and rhizoids scales and rhizoids they helpful in the fixation of the plant body to the substratum and also they are helpful in the absorption of uh, nutrition from the soil so this plant body is present on the moist uh, soil 
So the identification character here is <coughs> the thallus is linear shaped, the thallus is uh, dorsiventrally flattened and ribbon like structure. Then the thallus is differentiated into dorsal side and ventral side. Dorsal surface is dark green in color and it has apical notch at the tip of lobe and it has a clear midrib present on the thallus lobes. The thallus is a branched one. It shows a dichotomous branching. This dichotomous branching forms a rosette like appearance. Then the ventral surface of the thallus consists scales and rhizoids. They are helpful in the absorption. So scales are multicellular in nature and rhizoids they are unicellular and these rhizoids are of two types that is smooth walled rhizoids and pegged rhizoids. Smooth wall means the surface of rhizoid is smooth in nature but in pegged rhizoids the inner surface that shows a tuberculate outgrowths are the projections towards inside that is tuberculate rhizoids. So both are helpful in the absorption of absorption and uh, anchorage. So the, you can see the specimen. It is a fleshy in nature and it is flattened like structure. That's why this plant body is, is commonly known as liver wart. So hepatic apsida members are commonly called liver warts. By this you can identify